We packed up everything we owned into our van Betsy before setting off to get the ferry across to England. We planned to drive to the south of England, get the Euro Tunnel across to France, drive down through France, into Spain and finally into Portugal where we would begin our new lives. actually able to go one hour early, which is even better. Oh! 
So unfortunately after the Euro Tunnel things didn't really go to plan and we got held up at border control for a couple of hours. So they brought us to their office which was, we had to drive, we were escorted with a car in front and a car behind with our flashing lights. They started to search the car which was not ideal because William had very, very carefully packed it up. Squeezed everything in and then had it unpacked. Had to start to unload everything. And, and it's very, very tightly packed um, as you can see in the photo. But we, yeah, they looked through, started looking through everything. Surfboards out, mattresses out, everything out. Bailey's trying, we're trying to keep Bailey in the shade. So William was helping the them unpack the van. 34 degrees <laughs> on the black tarmac. <laughs> and, and I'm sat with Bailey being questioned about our intentions and we just hadn't a clue what was going on. And then they said they were going to get the sniffer dogs. And yeah, we, it was all just a bit mad, but we weren't actually sure what we... Oh, it was about eight or nine people all in looking around the van. Yeah. Pressing on us both. <laughs> we didn't know what we'd actually done wrong. That was the problem. Um, well it turns out probably something to do with Brexit and it was a bit of a difficult one because we've, we've travelled from Northern Ireland um, so technically it's in the European Union but then because we travelled through England it's not um, because we're moving house and bringing our stuff we were supposed to like declare it and call, pay an income tax or an import tax I mean import tax so we think that's what the problem was and then they said they were that they had the finest and we had to pay the tax. But thankfully the scary people disappeared and told us that we could reload the van after a while. So no dogs, no stuff for dogs. Yeah, managed to avoid that one and managed to avoid having to unpack every single item. So that was... They did say at one point there's an option we can go back to England which we really didn't want. Yeah, we really didn't want to do that. They said that's our first option, you can go back to England. <laughs> so we just thought, nah, we'll just we'll just pay the fine. It would have ended up costing more traveling back to England than coming back again on the, yeah. the Euro shuttle. So anyway, uh, we managed to We're escape. We're in France. We're in France, yeah. <laughs> yeah.
So unfortunately, I am currently sat at, underneath a tunnel at the side of the motorway because Betsy has lost power and isn't driving. William's just trying to move her up slightly so that she's under the shade. I think the engine's just overheating, but fingers crossed um, we at least get to Amaranth. We're about 30 minutes from Amaranth, so nearly, nearly there. Just a little very last hurdle, something like this happens. After a little while, the van's engine restarted and we finally made it to our gorgeous Riverside accommodation for the evening. We couldn't wait to cool down with the swim in the river. Really just loved running about doing zoomies around the garden. After five days of solid driving and a few issues along the way, we were just so pleased to finally be in Portugal. We got a good night's sleep before heading into town to sign the deeds and get the keys for our new home the following day. After signing the deeds, we began the short drive to our new home. Unfortunately, this short drive turned out to be a greater challenge than what we had hoped for. So just after we got up that crazy, crazy big hill, Betsy lost power and overheated. So we had to stop. And then we realized we were going the wrong way. We were going to try to enter the property from the opposite side and that's completely overgrown. So we had to give Betsy a break to try to kill down, hopefully drive her on to our property. Hopefully we'll finally, finally get to our house. But so we've just went for a walk, checked out the different routes in terms of severity of the road, whether there's many potholes, slumps, bumps, there really are up in the mountains here. But Williams went down to try to drive Betsy back up the hill. So I'm just gonna, hopefully he makes it, fingers crossed. Come on, come on.
finally, after a lot of mountain trails, we arrived at our new home. <laughs>